Hello everyone and thank you for watching and your your work videos. In next few lectures, we will talk about shipping process in sales and distribution module SAP ERP system. Shipping is a part of the order fulfillment process. It starts with the creation of a delivery document. This document can be created with or without reference to a precision sales document. The typical process consists of delivery document creation, followed by picking, packing, shipment, and goods issue. Delivery creation. In a sales order, when the material availability date or transportation scheduling date is reached, the order becomes due to poor delivery, and it is time for various planning and execution activities to start. The delivery document is the medium of conveying the information to the logistics execution team. In most organizations, this team is located at a different location, a plant, shipping point, or warehouse from the sales team. Picking Picking is an optional step. It involves the physical pickup of goods from the storage place and setting them aside for shipping. Some of the items in the delivery documents, such as services, may not be relevant for picking. The picking process can be done automatically during delivery creation or can be a scheduled activity that takes place in batches at regular intervals. Packing. Packing is the step of assembling all the picked items and packing them. Shipment. Shipment is the step of transportation planning and execution. In this step, one or more deliveries are grouped into a shipment document. The transportation for the various legs in that plant, and each leg is executed. The shipment document status is updated until the goods reach the customer. Goods issue Goods issue is the last step. When you post a goods issue, the delivery has physically been shipped. The material and accounting documents get created in the background, and the user cannot change or influence any data at this stage. Now we will talk about delivery creation. A delivery document can be created in several ways. Based on your requirements, you can create an individual delivery manually or use a batch program that runs a delivery due list and creates deliveries. Before delivery is created for a sales order, the system carries out the following checks. Is the sales order data complete? Are the items in the order relevant for delivery creation? Is there a credit block or a delivery block? Are the schedule lines for one or more items in the order due for delivery? Has the customer asked for complete delivery? So in SAP, a delivery can be created as an individual document or in a batch mode by running periodic jobs. Creating an individual delivery from the logistics execution menu. To access this menu, Follow menu pass, SAP menu, logistics, logistics execution, outbound process, goods issue for outbound process, outbound delivery, Create single document. 
create with reference to a sales order. The shipping point is the most important organizational unit in delivery creation. Specify the shipping point from where the delivery would originate. Also enter the order number, the range of items if needed, and selection date. After that, press enter. You can also create delivery without any sales order reference. Follow the same menu path as shown earlier and choose Create single document without order reference. And in this case, because there is no reference to sales order, you need to specify a sales area. So we specify a sales area, shipping point, delivery type, and press enter. And after that, you can save your delivery document. You can also create the delivery document from sales order transactions. Go to sales order, click on sales document and press on deliver to create a delivery. And system automatically send you to the L01 transaction. Create outbound delivery with order reference. Now we'll talk about collectively processing documents due for delivery. When the volume of sales transaction is very high, it is convenient to create deliveries in batches by executing a delivery do list. To access the transaction codes, go to SAP menu Logistics, Logistics Execution, Outbound Process, Goods issue for Outbound Delivery, Outbound Delivery, Create, and collective processing of documents due for delivery. As you can see, there are several transaction codes in the list, offering various selections to choose from. The program called up in each case is the same. Variations are controlled from the user role tab. The transaction codes offer different selection criteria to call up and execute a list of documents due for delivery. Go to VL10E. Here we can specify our selection screen and after that press execute button. Now we are ready to for a very important step, customizing delivery documents. The first step in the configuration is to set up a delivery document. Go to SPRO transaction, click on SCP reference IMG. Go to Logistics Execution.
shipping. Deliveries. Define delivery types. You can create a new delivery type or copy from an existing entry. You can refer to the SAP standard delivery type LF delivery. We can copy it as a reference. So first field is document category. The document category field at the top of the screen is used by the system to classify various documents such as sales documents, deliveries, billing documents and so on. For a standard delivery, this category is J delivery. Number system step. This is where the delivery documents can be assigned in internal or extender number range. First field. Here you assign the internal number range. In the case of an internal number range, the system assigns the next available number to each new delivery that is saved. Number range external. Specify an external number range in this field. For external number ranges, the user can specify a number from within the number range specified. As in the case of number ranges for sales documents, you can define the number range intervals for delivery in a separate transaction. Item number increment. This field is used to specify the interval between successive items in the delivery. Or the reference step. The following are the important fields on this step. Order required field. The order required field is used to specify the document type to be referenced in the creation of this delivery. In the case of standard delivery, you will specify X sales order required. However, other deliveries can have reference to purchase order or project required. We will choose sales order required. Default order type. Specify the default order type here. If a delivery is to be created without reference, you need to specify this order type, which is a reference order type that is required from an internal counter point of view. For example, in the case of delivery type LO, the default order type is DL. This order type is configured like any other sales documents. Item requirement. This is a provision to attach a requirement routine for delivery items without reference to a sales document. Most of, most of the fields in document content tab cannot be changed from this transaction. They appear here in displayed mode only.
Okay, we have a warning message that this delivery type already exists with the same key. And save changes. Save transport requests. So we have successfully defined our sales document type. We can go back to the implementation menu. We have successfully defined our one new delivery document type. In next lecture, we will continue to talk about customization of deliveries in sales and distribution module. Thank you for watching and your video world videos.